I'm here at the Science Museum for National Science and Engineering Week and it's for uh, Science Live, uh, which is an event that celebrates all the science that we do and the amazing achievements that we've got done in engineering and, and uh, technology. And, um, and we've got a great load of stuff. We've got speakers, experiments. Uh, we've got a 3D film about a Hubble Space Telescope. I'm going to be doing some chemistry experiments. Uh, polymers, which is my favourite subject. They're such weird molecules. And then you can have a wander around the science museum. I really liked the um, experiments with the polymers. I think it sort of helped me to like understand things better because it's kind of more like hands-on. What I liked about today was learning about crosslinks in polymers and how they're stronger if they go one way or weaker if they go another. I enjoyed uh, the super absorbent polymers. The chemistry was the best today. Out of all of those, the chemistry was the best. Uh, I was here to give a talk about the universe, why we explore it, and I think most importantly for me, um, how we know these things. When we say you hear these things like the universe is 13.7 billion years old, how do you know? How would you go about dating the age of everything you can see? I want to take you on a journey. I want to explore plants and the plants that you use in your daily life, the plants that you probably use today. And I'm here because I want to excite and enthuse people and get them excited about science because science is fun particularly the natural world. Mix in the sciences of chemistry, biology, physics, sociology and economics, getting them all together to inspire these individuals. That's what I want to do and that's what I'm excited about being here today. I love science and it's so important because, well, it's great to understand how the world works and, and uh, it's going to help with, in the future developing new technology, uh, new medicine. Uh, it's really important. I just want to encourage it. It's quite helping to pursue a career in science because, well, there's quite some exciting things to go on, especially the plant ones. I, so much you can do with <laughs> just like plants, really. There's uh, between quarter of a million and 400,000 plant species on the earth. Everything we use, everything we use in life, comes from plants. And so that's exciting. The next thing I want to show them is pollen grains and the pollen of life and how pollen blown up to massive sizes and germinated. To look at the cytoplasmic streaming, to look at you know the pollen pollen ornamentation and sort of explore that with them. And that should really get them excited about science. I think they're fantastic for the science curriculum. They show science outside the classrooms in a different way, sometimes in a bit more fun than we get to do when we've got to concentrate on what's being covered by syllabuses and things like that. And I think days like this really show what the options are and what the opportunities are available to science. There's a whole universe out there waiting to be explored and all it just needs is people to explore. So I think today was good, especially with Brian Cox being down here. So he was able to explain a lot you know, about the universe. So I think it was a really good opportunity today. Everything we take for granted in the world came from someone exploring nature and trying to understand it. And there's a lot more yet to explore. All I do is, is, is act as a little bridge between everybody and the universe. <laughs> That's what I do. I brought the girls here for an extension day. So what we're looking to do is to really enthuse our most able scientists and hopefully encourage them to go on and take science at ASA and maybe even university level. It's encouraged me to go into a career in science. I think it's been a really educational day. The most exciting thing probably I just think seeing things instead of just like le like listening to it seems more exciting. It was really interesting. It was more interesting than just sitting at school watching the teacher speak and telling you to do your textbook work. When I'm sitting in the classroom, it's quite boring just listening to the teacher. But now, when I've actually seen it like that, it's put it into perspective that maybe I do want to come around.